An important concept regarding these definite integrals is that a definite integral is going to give you a signed area. The reason being, oh sorry, let me introduce what signed area is actually referring to first. So the expression that we had for our Riemann sum is the following. This was the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum from i equals 1 to n of f of x sub i star times delta x. The way that we define delta x guarantees that it's going to be a positive value. However, this is simply referring to a y value for a function. A y value for a function doesn't necessarily have to be a positive value. So for example, if I wanted to find the definite integral from a to b, we see that a portion of the area here is above the x-axis, a portion is below the x-axis, and then the last portion is above the x-axis. Signed area <clears throat> says that area is going to be positive as long as the function is above the x-axis. However, if it's below the x-axis, that area is going to be accounted for in a negative fashion. Now, to interpret this, we also said in the previous section that these Riemann sums approximate things like velocity. Excuse me, a Riemann sum can be used to relate velocity to displacement. We could consider area above the curve as moving in a forward direction. Then we could account for area below the curve as moving in a negative direction. So, car goes forward, car goes backwards, and then car goes forward, just as an example. So overall, <clears throat> the signed area would be the net change. The net change referring to the net change, for example, in position. That might be a concept like displacements. Displacement. However, the pos um, excuse me, if we wanted to account for all area as positive, that would be the total change. That would be like a distance rather than a displacement. Now with that in mind, <clears throat> we're also going to give interpretation number two for how to evaluate a definite integral, which is to interpret in, well, interpret geometrically. For example, I could ask for the definite integral from 0 to 10 of x minus 2 dx. First thing I'd like to do is sketch the function in question. The function in question would be f of x is equal to x minus 2. There'd be a straight line, slope 1, with a y-intercept down at negative 2. So this would connect the ordered pair 0, negative 2 to the ordered pair 10, 8. We get the 10 from the x-coordinate listed here. We get the 8 from plugging 10 into the given function. So the area in question would be this nice big positive triangle and this little tiny negative triangle right here. Now as a quick reminder, the area of a triangle formula that we'll be making use of <clears throat> is one half times the base times the height. Now the x-intercept for this line would be at the ordered pair 2, 0, meaning that for our large positive triangle we have a base of 8 and a height of 8. So this area is going to be 1 half times the base of 8 times the height of 8, which overall is equal to 32. And for this little negative triangle right here, the area is going to be equal to 1 half times the base times the height, which would be 2. Now, as I mentioned above though, this area will be accounted for in a positive fashion. This area will be accounted for in a negative fashion. So the total signed area in this case would be equal to 
the positive 32 minus 2. The value of this definite integral, interpreted geometrically, would be 30.